What I would like to go over is different things you can use to cover, protect your image um, if you happen to be using the plain paper method. I would suggest using a laser printer if you have access to a laser printer. We'll be using a laser printed image on plain printer paper. I will be using discussing three different um, mediums will use the crystal clear enamel. I'm going to use polyurethane clear and Mod Podge. I will divide this picture into four sections and we will apply each one of those to a different piece of the section and see how it turns out. While we're here on the inside, let's go ahead and coat the Mod Podge. Once this dry, I'll come back and we'll do that. Now, with applying the Mod Podge, you're going to have to be real gentle with the image because it is going to be you're handling it and it's going to be wet. It's paper, so it will rip. So be very gentle and when you're applying your Mod Podge to your image. However, you do want to make sure it's thoroughly coated. So that we completely seal the image. Okay, this one here is the crystal. This one is the crystal clear. This one will be the polyurethane. Now I already 
a difference I have noticed with the crystal clear and the polyurethane. As I was saying, the difference I've noticed already with the crystal clear and the polyurethane is how the polyurethane is how with the crystal clear how it affects the ink. The ink as far as that pen ink is more affects it quicker more um, breaks down that ink quicker than it does with the polyurethane. So we're going to set and let these dry come back add a second coat to the front then add a coat to the back. Second coat on each one of these of the Mod Podge, the Crystal Clear, and the Polyurethane. You have the second coat on the image side. We'll let this dry and then come and spray a coat on the back side. I went ahead and just covered, completely covered the image. I'm not going to cut around it. The, each one of these should be saturated throughout the whole, at least wherever it was sprayed. So if there's no spray here, it will break apart or whatever. But I just went ahead and covered the whole image. We'll let these dry. And we'll be back. Put a coat on the back side. Okay, I have now applied a coating of each on the back side. I'm going to take an attempt to lay it on the face just as we move along with this, but like I advise as you do your projects. Be very careful because you don't want to mess up the front side side with the image. So be careful in your decision making and whether if you want to lay it down on the front. Uh, if you do, make sure it's thoroughly dry on the front side. And just be careful laying it down. Whatever you do, I would suggest not to lay the printed front side down on a flat surface. So now I'm going to let that dry. Okay, just to update you real quick where we are at this point. We have coated each one of the strips could say at least with three coats and this is the results uh, like I say find something to get it elevated you don't want it to dry and stick to whatever it is you're trying to have it dry on and this is the result of the Mod Podge you see I laid it down on this side you have to be real careful with working with the Mod Pod because one, it will it dries pretty quick when you're trying to work it, and as you see, it does. It's not leveling. You can see the streaks in it. There might be something that you can use to cause it to be smoother, but that's the coverage results. Like I said, it's once you start applying it, it's if it's on paper it might work using these to do it on glass to give you a, a slippery surface but you have to be really really careful it's a rough finish with the Mod Podge and you can see the streaks in it and like I said it, see that each one did stick to the little strips that we propped them up on that's why I would say you have to be careful on how 
you set them up to dry because this will affect the finish product. See, these here would show up. See how I pull that off, making it vulnerable for moisture to get up under there. So we're going to just keep that in mind as we proceed forward. Like I said, each one has a problem with sticking to whatever it is we try to level it off with. So be mindful of that. I will, however, go back and spray one more coat on this and let it dry just to protect it. One other thing that we notice, the crystal clear gave us a nice smooth finish went on pretty thick the polyurethane uh, I got some orange peel down there but that's due to my rushing and my un uneven spraying but the results for the polyurethane it does have a yellowish tint to it so it is gonna tint the whatever it is you're working with you can um, be prepared to get that, that yellowish tint out of it. Where the clear did dry clear. I like the drying in that. The Mod Podge was clear drying as well. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, pop another just a little coat on that to cover wherever it ripped the paper off. I'm going to let that sit and dry, and then we're going to come back and try our water test. Okay, I have sprayed that area out. Filled in pretty good um, when you re-sprayed it. We're going to let this dry, and once this dries, we'll come back and start our water test. Okay, I've allowed our test strips to dry. Once again, my purpose for this is just to see what's going to be good for coating. Okay, so we have coated the strips with this one being crystal clear, polyurethane, and Mod Podge. Okay, so each one has been coated at least a good three times, uh, front and back. The polyurethane does leave a yellowish tint, it tints a yellow hue, where the crystal clear, I do like the finish of the crystal clear, that is, it is, it's clear. The Mod Podge is a nice finish, but it's, you can see the lines in the print. Maybe if you use a, a brush or something um, it will be smoother. It's a nice thicker feel to the Mod Pod. But I like the finish of the Crystal Clear the best because it did not affect the color. It get a little orange pill, but that was due to my rushing and the run. But it, the polyurethane does leave a yellowish hue, a yellow tint to its finish. The Mod Podge, you can see the streaks. It's thick. You can feel the thickness in it once that first coat dry. But you have to work quick with the Mod Podge because it is tacky. For all of them, if working on a on paper subject, for all of them, I suggest to not work on a paper surface, perhaps glass or something. But whatever you do, you when it's drying, you're gonna want to what you want it. But in all, 
for whatever you do and all purposes when it's drying you want to try to elevate the picture some kind of way where it's going to dry evenly and in a way where it's not going to affect the picture all right so now we're going to do our water test Time now is 2.30. Okay, the appearance after about five minutes. The main visual appearance I'm seeing at the moment is with the Mod Podge is looking a bit more cloudier. Okay, so this is where we are with our water test. It is now 4.30, so it has a couple hours to sit and soak. And we're now going to remove them from the water. This is a plain picture as far as it looks. I would say it has the best outlook, the best appearance of them all. Just the plain picture and upheld its color. The one with the Mod Podge has a cloudy feel to it, cloudy overlay on it. Started with an air bubble there or something that there's a bubble sitting there somehow that has affected the image. The poly has a yellow hue, a yellow tint to it, and the crystal clear, um, I like it. It's a clear image, but as compared to the original uncoated I would say it is the closest a pretty pretty good match but the uncoated is the best looking the clear and a close second as far as the original that original image look. Okay. Durability. The plain image, unprotected image, picture is nice and intact as far as being able to gently rub your finger across the image it holds up pretty good with while it is wet 
paper off the image however it does break up real easy it comes apart when rubbing your finger across it going rubbing across from the image to the paper the image holds together fairly well it slowly breaks down For the most part, the image itself, laser printed, is waterproof, water resistance on the image printed side. On the back side, it breaks apart just as on the front side, on the non-protected side. As far as the image breaking down, the paper is peeling away, well, if you're really gentle, the paper will peel away from the laser print. If you're really gentle, the paper will peel away from the laser printed image. which leaves in mind that you could laser print this image you could lay some tight laminate on the front side of it and possibly peel away the back which will leave you with a real thin image to work with like I said you would really have to be pretty pretty careful Once again, the front side is well protected. It's as if it's um, to a point, it is water repellent. But if you're going to use it on a project, you would want to protect it. That's where that's why we are doing this experiment to see what would be a good medium to protect it. Now this is the Mod Podge. As you see, it has left it with a cloudy image. It is very durable. It is very durable. It does withstand the high amount of pressure <laughs> although that spot that water did get into does break it down so you will want to make sure you have a nice covering other than that, if you get a nice covering, it's a good protection, but as you see, it does leave a cloudy image. It is a bit of a 
rubbery texture to it as it dry. And you can see the two layers. You see that top layer and then the bottom layer. So it does coat. See, there they are. It does coat the image within its layers. And that is for the Mod Podge. That's for polyurethane. It has left a yellowy tint, yellowy hue to the finish. Paper seems to be well sealed. <laughs> it is very, very durable. It holds up. It holds. It holds up very well under pressure <laughs> you can hear paper still crisp in the tear With the ends sealed, it has a little resistance to ripping. A little, little, holds up a little with a little resistance, just doesn't rip. And as well, you can see the two sides, but it's really, really thin. With the polyurethane. You can make out a front layer a back leg that is that the paper is sandwiched between <laughs> outstanding performance finish other than the yellowing the coloring crystal clear this is just I don't even believe this has any like UV protection or anything it's just a basic um, clear enamel coating I am truly impressed with the clarity of the picture of the spray it seal the paper very well <laughs> once again it is very durable I like the texture the finish it went on as a thick spray but it thinned it out it leveled it smooth 
itself out, leveled itself very well. Um, I had some spastic spray in it at points, but it did not orange peel up like the polyurethane did. It sealed. I'm very pleased at how it sealed the paper and like I said overall the clarity. You can tell the difference. It is clearer than the polyurethane. So a good suggestion just to use something basically like I said I don't just doesn't say anything about UV protection, so it will just basically uh, be a test of time to see how the sun affects it. But as far as sealing your image, anything you want to print on plain printer paper using crystal clear enamel is a good sealant to seal your image. Using a, using a laser printed image on plain printer paper. I recommend something like this to sell it. There's other brands and stuff that, that are available, but I just wanted to try something quick, simple, and easy. As with the polyurethane, you can it's not as thick the rip is not as crisp there is that thin layer on the front and the back that sandwiches the paper in between the two and it's, it's very very thin I like the way the texture is, the feel, the smoothness. We will be trying this, this enamel for a sealer and and hopefully this has been a nice little tutorial on how to coat plain printer paper um, using a laser printer for projects.